Are you wondering what the cost of living is in Montana? In this video, we'll break down all the different costs of living in Montana. Welcome to our video about the cost of living in Montana. Before we get going, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell to make sure you're notified every time we put out a new video about living in Montana. Just look at this place. Who wouldn't want this in their backyard? What might surprise you is the cost of living here in Montana is pretty low compared to the rest of the country. Let's break down the different costs. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, the first number tells the tale. The overall score for Montana is 94, and the average for the United States is 100. In the first four categories, grocery, health, housing, and medium home cost, Montana is right at the U.S. average. In fact, our median home price is only $900 more than the U.S. average. Since we have such a beautiful state, you will find much higher prices in resort towns and waterfront properties, but overall, our housing is very affordable around Montana. Right now, the Bozeman area is the most expensive part of the state. Prices in Bozeman are way above the national average. So if you look at the last three categories, Montana is way below the national average. Utilities, transportation, and the miscellaneous category bring our overall score way down. For example, here's my utility costs. We live in a resort town, so the fees are a little more expensive here. We pay $90 to $150 a month for water, about $60 a month for electricity, and $25 to $180 a month for natural gas. We have a gas furnace, so our bill is much higher in the winter months, as you can imagine. The miscellaneous category is based on clothing, restaurants, repairs, entertainment, and other services. So let's look at the next slide, which shows the average rental costs in Montana if you're looking to rent a place. So you will notice here that our rents are way below the national average. Again, in some resort communities, the rents will be higher due to demand. So on this chart here, you'll see that in Montana, a studio apartment averages $566 a month, and then it goes up to about $1,144 for a three-bedroom place and $1,373 for a four-bedroom. And if you look at the chart, you can see that that's all of these prices in Montana are way below the U.S. average prices for this size of an apartment or house that you're renting. So let's talk about one of the great things about Montana is that there is no sales tax. So when you buy something downtown for $4.99, that's what you're going to pay is $4.99, which is kind of nice. Some of the resort towns have added a small resort tax, but most of Montana, there is no sales tax. So what the price is on the tag is what you're going to pay. So if you like to go out and have a drink occasionally, the prices for alcohol here in Montana are very low compared to the rest of the United States. The average price for a drink in downtown Whitefish is about three to four dollars and I know one of the bars has a, a drink special on weeknights where beers are only a dollar a piece so we have a lot of Canadians that come down to this part of Montana and they can't believe how cheap the prices are for alcohol at the bars so so that's another thing that makes Montana way cheaper than the rest of the country. So let's check out this next slide and we'll talk about the other taxes here in Montana. So we don't have a sales tax, but unfortunately, like everyone else, we have state taxes and property taxes. I grabbed this slide from the smartasset.com website. And as you can see, the income tax in Montana is on the high side, but the other taxes are below average. The property taxes vary from town to town, but here's an example. In Kalispell, Montana, a brand new house built in 2019 that's 1,400 square feet, three bedroom, two bathroom on a quarter acre lot is taxed at $1,140. So our gasoline costs are for the most part pretty low here as well. Here are the prices in Whitefish on June 1st of 2020. 
Here in Montana, there's a 32 cent tax added to every gallon of gas and a 30 cent tax added to every gallon of diesel. And if you compare that to California, where you have 62 cents on every gallon of gas and 87 cents for every gallon of diesel. So with all that driving that we do here in the big sky state, it's nice to have affordable gas. So let's talk about our health care in Montana. Our health care in Montana is awesome. What a lot of people don't know is that many doctors have moved here from the big cities because they're sick of the big cities. They love the lifestyle here. And why wouldn't you want to live here? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure it's no fun working in those emergency rooms in the big cities around the country. So what has happened is a lot of them have moved here to Montana just because of the lifestyle we have here and what that has done is now our health care in Montana, which nobody knows, is one of the best in the country just because of the fact that we've had some great doctors move here from out of state and now they're working in Montana. So we don't have to travel very far for good health care. Another thing we have in our area anyway is a, we have some concierge medical centers where what that is is you pay a monthly fee and they cover all your basic services and it's really nice thing to have if you don't if you're younger and you don't use the doctor a lot but you still need to do tests once a year physicals things like that it's all covered with the monthly fee and it's a great it's a great setup and i know they have them in other parts of the country but we we're just starting to get them here and they're great so with that being said, our health care in Montana is awesome. If that's a concern of yours, don't let that be a concern because this is a great place. So now let's do something fun and check out the differences in cost of living between Montana and some bigger cities around the West. You'll be shocked at the differences. Check it out. So let's start out in Seattle. If you look at the overall number, it is 76%, 76.5% more expensive to live in Seattle than it is in Kalispell, Montana. I chose Kalispell because it's not a resort town. It's the hub of the Flathead Valley. It isn't a very desirable place, but it isn't whitefish. It isn't, a, it, it's basically the average town in Montana. So that's why I chose Kalispell and that's where we're gonna compare all these different cities to. But even with that, Seattle 76.5% more to live there. The med median home cost is 164% more in Seattle. And that's obviously the biggest difference between the two towns, but pretty much straight down the line, everything is cheaper except for utilities in Kalispell. So it, it's amazing the difference between here and Seattle, Washington. The next town we're gonna look at is Los Angeles and as you can see on this chart LA is 77.6 percent more expensive and the medium median home cost in Los Angeles is 154 percent higher so the median home cost in Kalispell is 276 dollars and in LA it's six hundred eighty nine thousand five hundred dollars and again, you go right down the line and pretty much every category is cheaper except health care uh, in Kalispell, Montana. So again, <laughs> a huge difference between here and the West Coast cities. So let's go a little bit inland and check out Kalispell versus Salt Lake, versus Salt Lake City. And overall, at Salt Lake is still 21 0.8% more expensive than living in Kalispell. And the average home cost, the median home cost in Salt Lake City is $121,000 more than it is in Kalispell. And the health care here in Kalispell is cheaper. Uh, everything else is cheaper except food and groceries. So that's the difference between here and Salt Lake City. And then finally, we'll go up against Minneapolis and Kalispell is 9.1% cheaper than living in Minnesota, in Minneapolis. And 
basically the the median house cost is the same but the utilities are cheaper transportation is cheaper uh, the miscellaneous prices are cheaper so the overall index comes up to 9.1 percent difference between living in Kalispell than it is in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Well, I hope this video gives you a good idea of the cost of living in Montana and how it compares to other cities around the country. And I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. And it is a little surprising how cheap it is to live in such a great place. So what I'd like from you is if you do me a favor, comment below and tell me what city you're watching this from and i would like to run comparisons on that as well so that would be great to hear from you so please comment below if you enjoyed this video or you just want to tell me where you're where you're watching from so we can run the numbers on that city compared to where we are right here in montana and we love it here and we're happy to help you and if you need any information about possibly moving here or just questions about the area, we'd be happy to answer. My wife, who you're gonna see in a second, is born and raised here. She's been here her whole life. There, there is nobody that knows more about the state than she does. And we're both very willing to help with any needs or questions you may have. So our information is right here on the screen. Check it out and we will see you on our next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so next time a video comes out you will be notified. Our information is on the screen so please contact us at any time and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.